Daniel, what are you doing? Jesus, Daniel. Put the gun down. No. What do you mean, no? Look, Daniel, I know you're hurting right now, but nothing can be this bad, can it? Daniel, let's just talk, please. Why? Why? So you can rethink what you're doing, so you can let out whatever's inside you that's eating you up. I don't need to rethink anything, Noah. It's my life, it's my death, and it's, it's my decision. I'm sick of thinking about everything. Then take five more minutes, Daniel. Take five more minutes to think about it with me. I'm done waiting. I'm done thinking that tomorrow's just gonna be better when it's just a lie. And I know it's not gonna be. I'm sick of it. Jesus, Daniel, why didn't you tell any of us that you were feeling this way? Why didn't any of you notice? Daniel, this isn't just your life you're taking. You're taking your mother's, you're taking your father's. Christ, Daniel, you're taking Emma's. You love her, and she loves you. We all care about you. You're hurting all of us. Just talk to me for five more minutes. I'm in so much pain, Noah. I'm so miserable. All I want to do is just make her happy, but I can't. I don't know how to anymore. You're wrong, Daniel. Emma loves you. You know that. I, I did know that. I was sure of it. I, I can't do it anymore. I mean, we say three words to each other every day, but I don't know how to talk to her anymore. It's like, it's like I've forgotten. Well, she still loves you, and she still cares. That's why I'm here right now. She called me and told me you were acting strange. Well, then why isn't she here, Noah? I don't know. Maybe she's forgotten how to talk to you. Maybe she's having all the same problems. Look, if you're sad enough to consider taking your life, then what do you think that's going to do to Emma? You think that's going to make her happy? I just... All I know is I just... I, I can't do it living. Daniel, I know if you do this, Emma's going to feel exactly like you do right now. And, and look what you're about to do. I just want her to be happy, Noah. That's all I want. I know, Daniel. I know. Can I take a seat? Daniel, do you remember in ninth grade when we were walking home and they were redoing the sidewalks? They must have just been paved over the night before because half of them were still wet. I remember about halfway to your house, we saw something stuck in the concrete. Do you remember? A rabbit. It must have gotten its foot stuck when the concrete was wet and it dried up around it. I remember he was just yanking his leg. You turned to me the second you saw it and you told me to run home and grab anything I could that would help. <laughs> I didn't know what broke concrete. I think I grabbed a hammer, a, a shovel, and a, a hatchet. I didn't know if any of those would work, but I'm sure one of them would. Guess I never got to find out though. I remember the feeling in my chest when I saw you just sitting there and the rabbit was lying on the ground. Gave up before you had a chance to help it. Look, Daniel, I want to help you. I need to help you. And I'm not going to lie and say I know what you're going through because I don't. But I know that I don't like seeing you this way. I just want to remember how to hold her, Noah. I just, I just want to make her happy. Daniel, you make her happy. Emma wants you to be happy. 
And that's how it's going to get better. I want to be happy. And that will happen. But first, you have to want to live. I do. Give me the gun, Daniel. Think of younger days when I lived for my life. Was everything 